Hey everybody, Michael here. In today's video, we're going to show you how to upload your Joomla site to any web hosting service. Now, even though there are a lot of web hosting services out there, it's just the same process for all of them. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do right here is that you need to go to your local host. So type your local host, go to PHP My Admin, go to databases, click on your database, and go ahead and go to export and click go. This should start exporting your database from your local host. Okay, now that's done. Let's go ahead and go to our database section in our hosting dashboard. Once you've done that, okay, <laughs> it seems that my IP address changed because I'm using a VPN. Okay, now go ahead and go to your dashboard and go, try to find the database section. And on that section, if you found it, just go ahead and add a new MySQL database and type a name for your database. So here I'm going to put your magical moments and add database. I was going to add that database. And there we go. Once added, go ahead and try to find the PHP My Admin section on your host site. And that should redirect you to the PHP My Admin page of that serve of that hosting service site of your site. Now, just go ahead and click your new added database. Go to import and choose the file that we exported earlier. It is on our downloads earlier in this example. Okay. Just go ahead and click go, and that should start importing the SQL file. You just, you just need to wait for it to upload, especially if you have like a big, 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 big <laughs> SQL file because you have lots of data. It's going to take a while. Okay, and there we go. It's now imported. Now that we imported that thing, you go back here. And now you can see here the username and the database name. Okay, now go to your htdocs folder and go to your sites folder and edit the configur configuration PHP to here and configuration. Okay, and edit here the user and password. So here we're just gonna copy paste this thing, go back here and paste it on our user and then the password I think is the password on your cPanel so that would be this one and our new database name which is inventive2 magic moms I'm just gonna change here inventive2 okay that should be identical which is good I'm gonna click I'm just going to save this thing save and there we go. Now, if you're going to upload your site using FileZilla, go ahead and try to find the FTP section of your dashboard and find the FTP users. Just click that thing and go ahead and add an FTP user. So for instance, we're gonna add here the potato and we're gonna make a password as well, okay password and add FTP account and that should work and there we go we created a new account now go ahead and open here FileZilla I'm just gonna put this in a new desktop okay now in order to connect this thing you see here a host a username and a password and a port just click here the connection guide you just copy everything from here to the FileZilla application so from the host Port, then the um, username right here and the password which I just wrote earlier so it's just the same and try and try to connect if it's working and use well if your connection is not encrypted this would show up but anyhow we have established the connection right here and just go ahead, once it's established, just try to access your site's folder in htdocs. 
and just go ahead and select this internal parts right here and just go ahead and right click and upload and that should start uploading your files to the cloud over here see it's now uploading everything to the cloud all you need to do now is wait for this process to actually finish for it to work So I'm just gonna get back to you guys when this uploading process is now over. Okay, now after that very, very long time, finally the upload is now finished. So actually we need to edit one more thing before we actually access it on our hosting site. As you can see right here, there's an error right now. All you need to do is just first go to your public uh, HTML file right here. If you don't know where to see that, you just need to find the file manager on your web hosting service. Click that and that should redirect you to this type of file explorer page. And just try to find here the configuration PHP, which is under on public HTML. Just in case it, does, if it doesn't show up, just go ahead and click here the code editor and click edit. And remove here the at local host and save changes. And if you refresh now your hosting, well, your site, the Joomla site should be now visible. Right, like right here. Okay, so that's all for now, guys. As always, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.